So this is episode number two of cold calling in a recession. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on these calls. But before I do, just wanted to kind of update you guys where I'm currently at. Uh, started the day off with two listings. However, one of them closed today. So I'm back to just one active uh, transaction. However, I am going on a listing appointment tomorrow. So um, hope to get that listing bump up to two. And uh, maybe here shortly, uh, maybe this week, next week, can pick up another listing, make it three, and then just keep going up from there. Hey, this is this is Christian. I was just giving you a quick call here. Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> good, good. How was your Thanksgiving? Um, not too bad. You know, spending with the family, all that good stuff. Oh, that's great. Did you stay in town? Yeah, 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 I did. You? No, actually, um, I went to my girlfriend's uh, in San Antonio, so I was out in San Antonio, but um. Oh damn. Yeah, but it was nice. It was nice. I I like it a lot out there with our with our family. Yeah, it was, it was a, nice out there. Yeah, it was a fun time. I was um giving you a call because I um I was looking at my calendar here for for this week and I saw that that you and I had had something tentative of uh, to go meet at your property. Uh, just wanted to see if you know if it, if anything had happened over the weekend. Um, you know, uh, if you were in talks with anyone or. Actually, I am, man. Uh, I had a a lady come out and look at it today, uh-huh. and um, she said she was going to get back to me. Yeah. But she seemed like she was really interested. Yeah. Uh, we agreed on two sixty. Uh huh. And uh, she said she was going to, you know, just go over what we had talked about with her husband, but it, uh, uh-huh. you know, she liked it. So that's good. She said she'd get back to me tonight or. Uh, sometime tomorrow. So I said, okay, just let me know. Okay. Oh, that's that's great. What are what are her plans on it? She is she an investor? She, yeah, she says she's gonna turn it into a rental. That's good. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I think the numbers would make would make sense uh, potentially at that at that amount. Um, yeah, I think um, I think that could be some. I think that could be something there. How did uh, how'd she get a hold of you? Um, I think she saw it on Marketplace. Uh huh. And uh, you know, and then she just contacted me through there. Oh, okay, great, great. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> that's great. And uh, how was how was uh, you guys gonna work it out? Just uh, doing it just off market, like she's gonna write up like a contract for you or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. Uh-huh. That she was gonna reach out to her, whoever does all her stuff for her and. Uh, she'd have them draw up the paperwork. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well, hey, yeah, that, that's awesome. You know, if you if you'd like, um, you know, I'm more than willing to just just take a quick glance at it for you. And just make sure there's no there's no red flags at all. I mean, if she's having someone write it up for her, you know, at least you can have someone just read it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, man. I, I mean, hopefully, you know, if she, you know, is legit. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, man. Uh, I was actually gonna ask you how much would you charge me to like do like the closing for me mm-hmm. on you know obviously for me on my behalf. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, since if since you already found, so I do what's called like a flex. Um, if you already found a buyer, right, and all you're simply looking to do is just have someone just kind of just look over things for you. Um, mm-hmm. you know, it'll just be a simple, just 1%. 1%? Yeah. And, um, now, what I remember one of the realtors that I spoke with mm-hmm. said that, um, because of the HOAs, that there was something that I needed to do with the HOAs, that there's a fee that you have to pay the HOAs, like a transfer fee from my name to the new you know, person that's going to be buying. Now, who does all of that? Yeah, there's different, there's different uh, disclosure, disclosures and check sheets. Um, that'll be something that I would handle for you. Uh, those fees okay. are negotiable, however. Those fees you can negotiate. Um, you know, we can negotiate that the buyer pay for those fees. And that is true. Though. Okay. Yeah. Now, I did tell her, I was like, this 260, I said, you you're gonna pay for everything. I said closing costs and for everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, okay. 
she's like, yeah, she goes, we could do that. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, obviously I started off at 272. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, because of the roof and all that stuff, you know, she wanted me to file through my insurance company. But um, anyway, we ended up agreeing on 260, but that's, mm -hmm. you know, not, uh, nothing out of my pocket. Everything had to come out of her pocket, yeah. all the closing fees and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, like I said, those are, I can look over everything once they get everything typed up. And I can make sure that that's already put in writing because it's not as clear cut on the uh, on the Texas trek. It's not as clear cut. There's different options there. So we, yes, we'll definitely make sure that they're covering all those fees, those transfer fees, all the closing costs, the HOA fees. Yep. Okay. Yep. Make sure of it. And, and also we'll make sure that they are very serious, that they are putting down a legitimate earnest money deposit you know if if they're asking for an option period we'll make sure they put down an option fee and i'll stay on top of it to make sure that they deposit these these fees and if they don't then you know we'll threaten to pull out and that's how we know if they're not legit if they can't put up if they can't put up a couple thousand dollars for earnest money then they don't have the quote-unquote cash to close on it right so yeah we'll make sure cool. you're covered cool, cool. yeah uh definitely so let me hopefully she'll get back to me tonight uh she said at the latest she would let me know tomorrow mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh you know if everything looks good i'll uh i'll let you know and uh you know you can handle all that for me and uh one yeah. percent so yeah that'll be cool yeah yeah that'll be perfect that'll be perfect and if she falls through then um, I mean, we were still going to meet, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. yeah, sounds good. So I'll, um, I have a couple. Tomorrow looks pretty uh, busy for me. Um, looks like I have uh, some, some showings to do and a couple, couple uh, meetings to attend. Um, if I guess we'll, we'll talk on the phone tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday should be more clear for me. Um, if you know if we were to meet in person um, mm -hmm. but that that's good though because it allows her time as well like you said you know you'll give her up you know we'll see what happens tomorrow okay and then that okay. way we can potentially maybe meet on Wednesday okay yep I'll, uh, I'll shoot you a text as soon as I hear from her okay perfect all right sounds great all right, all right. thank you so much Thanks, have a great day bye. you too bye-bye Right now we got some other plans for them, so we I don't think we're gonna fill them right now. Okay. No, I completely understand. You guys decided to just kinda of change your mind. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, that makes sense. Well, by any chance do you happen to have any other properties you're interested in selling at the moment? No, not really. Mm hmm Got it. Okay. All right, well sounds good. All right, well thank you so much, Steven. Have a good day. All right, All right. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. I wanted to reach out to you. I uh, wanted to see if there's anything I can help out with. I'm actually a local real estate agent, and I'm also an investor as well. So I wanted to see if there's okay. anything I can help you out with on that property, if you're still interested in selling it. Okay, which property is it? Yeah, so, yeah, just wanted to reach out to you. I wanted to see if, like, uh, if you're still interested in selling that property, if anything has changed. I know, I know we just had the holidays here, so. Yeah, no, nothing's really changed. Uh -huh. Is that how much you're asking for that property? Well, that's how much I would sell it for today. Uh huh. Okay. No, that's great. That's great. Is it currently um, is the property current vacant? Currently vacant, or is it tenant occupied? No, they're both occupied. Uh -huh. uh, long term. One is uh, one is bringing in uh, I would say eight hundred a month. Mm hmm. And the other one is bringing in. Oh, uh, I have um. All bills paid on one side, and then um, mm -hmm. I don't think electrical on the other side. So I'm bringing in eighteen hundred a month on that property. Okay. Got it. Okay. But I pay water, sewer, trash. Okay. And um, internet, TV. Hmm. 
Got it, got it. Okay. Oh, sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. good. And um, is, so that's pretty much the buy it now price. So I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, would you would you consider um, listing the property, or would you only just want to sell it just? Off no, market? it's not really for sale. You just call any. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So if I can make the 120 work, it would be something that you'd consider that you would sell. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Let me let me go ahead and review these numbers then. Um, but tomorrow will be a good time to give you a call. I know it's kind of late. I'm calling you right now, but, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Some, sometime around this time tomorrow. Okay. okay. Yeah. The next steps would be, I mean, if, if this works for me, just kind of like, you know, if I run the numbers and everything works for me, I would just have to just go out there. Um, just take some pictures, just take a look at the property and then you can just go from there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Rebecca. Um, hope you have a All great right. evening and then I'll uh, look forward to What's speaking to you tomorrow. Name? Christian. Thank you, Christian. Yep. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. All right. So that's it for day number two. I had a really good session got some good leads in as you guys heard on that last call. Uh, that's going to be a really good appointment. Uh, most likely that's going to be an off market deal. As the seller said, she doesn't want to put the property on the market. So I mean, they're going to take it down myself, resell it, or maybe just uh, quickly just assign it to another investor. Overall, really good day, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody on day number three tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Peace.